So good morning, and I'm very happy to see all these names, familiar and unfamiliar. Paul and Claire, hi, Barbara, and LH from Iran, and Rohana, Mary-Kate. I wonder if you can hear my sound. And um, uh, could someone confirm that? Great, it's wonderful that you can all hear, and, uh, and I'm very glad to uh, be here with you, and I will be back in a few minutes to start. Thank you. So, <clears throat> good Monday morning, everyone, and welcome to our sitting, and and uh, very appreciative, grateful, inspired to uh, come down and sit at IMC with so many of you here online, and uh, it's quite special to see uh, so many familiar names that we get to be together, and some of you I haven't seen for quite a while, and and uh, but to have this contact uh, is pretty nice, and I'm very happy for it. And I'm also happy to see the names that are repeating that uh, seem to have started here now with this uh, online sitting and new people. And so it feels pretty wonderful. And I hope that uh, uh, all of you who are participating also feel the the uh, the richness and the. Uh, Heartfeltness, heartfeltness of this wide network now who are participating in these uh, sittings. So here we are. And um, <clears throat> so the, the theme for these uh, this week, uh, for the Dharmet especially, is uh, Samadhi. And uh, Samadhi is really one of the deep heart qualities of the Dharma. And uh, it's a way of really coming home here to oneself. A lot of what the samadhi entails, a good part of it is letting go. But to just say letting go is not enough. Uh, it's, I think it's helpful to think of it as a letting go into something. And um, so what that something is, is what we discover through the Dharma, through practice. And um, certainly we can let go into the present moment, let go into awareness of what's here, let go into our direct immediate experience. We can also let go into the goodness uh, of practice, let go into the goodness of breathing, of being embodied, being here. There's many things we let go into. Uh, sometimes when I get a migraine, 
I'll practice letting go into the pain. And I find that uh, letting go into the pain is uh, what I have. This, I have a little I need to kind of be in a quiet place, be my, by myself to do this. But that um, uh, then uh, there's a whole different relationship to the pain. And sometimes it doesn't even become pain anymore. And, um, or it doesn't become so difficult. So the idea of letting go into and uh, letting going into so that there is a stable presence of involvement, resting in experience, samadhi. So to sit upright or to meditate in a posture that is appropriate for you and you believe at this point supports you in being present And to take a little time to roam around your body and to see where you can make small adjustments so that your body is a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more easier for the body to settle. And the small adjustments that makes your body a little bit more comfortable place for your awareness to rest in. And you might also, as you're doing this, to see if there's places in your body that you can relax. Relaxing is a relative of letting go softening, relaxing from the top of your head, forehead and eyes, the area around your mouth and your jaws. Maybe all around your neck and how your neck holds your head. Softening, relaxing the shoulders. And as we go through the rest of the body, to let the gentle pull of gravity help you settle, stable here. Relaxing the arms, softening the arms. Releasing the elbows from any tension. And releasing the hands in any ways in which the hands are a little bit tight or held. And softening in the rib cage, center of your chest. As you exhale, maybe also relaxing the back rib cage. Perhaps it's possible to soften the diaphragm. And then softening the belly, soft belly sitting here. And softening the hip joints, the area of your, where you're sitting, seated. And as you exhale, softening down the legs. The thighs, especially the top of the thighs. Your lower legs. 
and all the way down to your feet. Maybe there's a way of relaxing, softening the feet that the toes hang more freely off the ends of the feet. And then to release, soften, relax the whole body. A releasing of the whole body from how you might be bracing yourself or anticipating something. So that as you let go, relax the whole body, it might settle more fully into this time and place. Or perhaps the body has a sense of ever so slightly dissolving outwards where the boundaries of the body become more diffuse with the space around you. Perhaps you can relax and settle the thinking muscle, any tension or pressure in the head or in the area where you associate your thinking. Softening the mind. Relaxing the mind as you exhale. And then letting go into your breathing. Letting go into the body, breathing itself. Letting go into the breathing. So breathing is at the center of all things. So that as you let go into the breathing, the breathing becomes the center. Centering yourself on your breathing. Breathing in and breathing out.
with breathing at the center as if everything begins and ends with breathing. Beginning with the inhale, everything begins. Ending with the exhale, everything ends. Especially as you exhale, let go of your thoughts. As you center yourself, let go into breathing, the body breathing.
go into this moment breathing. Letting go into whatever subtleness or stability that's here for you. And then in the last minute or so of this sitting, as you exhale, see if you can relax into any sense of stability that's here. Stability in your body, stability in your mind, and perhaps some 
meaningful stability in your heart. A stability that allows you to stay present with the experience of the day without being swayed by them or caught up in them or pushed around. So feeling stability inside of you, however small it might be. And then consider how this stability can support you in this day. And how being in contact with some inner stability, how it allows you to have a more caring, loving, friendly attitude that you carry with you into the day. So that any ways that you think about others, any ways you might be talking to others, any ways that you might be seeing other people, that you touch into your inner stability. And from there, bring forth your kindness. your goodwill, your care. So that from this meditation practice, we bring forth an aspiration and a wish and a practice for the welfare and happiness and safety of all beings everywhere. May all beings be safe. May all beings be happy. May all beings have their basic needs satisfied. May all beings know that others care.